Good morning, child of grace. When I was a young man, I found myself in this Bible study. And uh, they were going through the scripture and they came to this place. And, and uh, in scripture, and it was in Romans 9. And uh, I'll just read it to you. For, uh, uh, it starts right, it says, for the children being not yet born, neither hath done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said of her, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Well, <clears throat> I I asked him to uh, expound on. I asked the uh, the leader of the discussion of the Bible study to uh, expound on that a little bit because you know it seemed pretty cut and dry to me. And uh, he he uh, <laughs> well, I got accused of opening a can of worms when all I was doing was asking the question because he was. Uh, it seemed to me he was trying to explain it away or make an excuse. You know, you know how it goes. You know, the Greek means this, and the, and uh, what's that? Uh, the uh, uh, some very wise men uh, with all these degrees or say it say it this way. Uh, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. That's the uh, that's the normal reaction. That's what the reaction of these of this Bible uh, uh, supposed Bible teacher the, of the of the Bible study was given. He said well, it was like this: "Wilt thou say unto me, Why doth ye yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will?" So here it is: uh, the, the the fallible man's reaction is uh, is uh, uh, that's not fair. <laughs> That's going against uh, the free will of man. So it didn't fit. See? So that was a normal reaction. That's how you know that uh, you're getting the truth, brother sister. The truth is that God is sovereign in everything. And he, when he populates his heaven, he chooses them for the foundation of the world. <laughs> that was another place. But anyway, I got kind of a, 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 a dressing down there because of, uh, I asked the question, you know, that, you know, <laughs> that doesn't quite make sense. Jacob, no, that doesn't fit now, brother and sister. And that's the, the normal reaction of man. If, if they're not going to say, uh, you're not going to get in any trouble. If, if, if you go out there on any street corner here and say, yeah, you know, yeah, I chose God, you know, man has a free will. He better decide and decisional regeneration. No, that's not going to get you in any, in any trouble. What's going to get you in trouble is when you say God, when God, when you put God in his proper place on the throne, making the decisions, that's when you're going to get in. That's when people, uh, when fallible man rebels. Say. I mean, I'm talking about God's people too. I'm not just people, that, not just the, uh, the devil's folks, the ghosts, but God's people too, because they've been tricked into this theology, the free will of man, uh, uh, their whole life. I was most of my life. Thank God that's not a a, a condition. <laughs> if it, being tricked by the devil is not a condition to get uh, to get into heaven to be one of his. Thank God for it. You know, there's gonna be a whole lot of surprised people with uh, of of his people. But anyway, uh, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness for God? God forbid. See, the normal reaction with men is to say, uh, uh, uh. Hey, you know, who has resisted his will? You know, well, this is not fair. You know, that that's the normal reaction of man. So we have to square it and, and bring out all the, our professors <laughs> with all their degrees and try to explain it away. When the best thing to do is to put your hand over your mouth and say, God, you're God. And uh, uh, there's not any kind of unrighteousness with you. You're a good God. Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Wow, this whole uh, this whole uh, chapter nine in Romans is real good, and 
as, as far as establishing the sovereignty of God, which brings great peace to the child of grace as you get older. When you first find out about this, it's kind of a shock because everybody around you uh, believes the other way. They've been taught the other way from their childhood. But so have we all been taught that we live on a spinning ball, you know. <laughs> that was a big shock, too, you know. It's also a big shock to find out that the people have told you that uh, that man is going back to the moon next year when they hadn't went the first place. <laughs> so uh, let God be true, brothers and sisters, and every man out there a liar. I'm telling you, once you get this thing about God being sovereign and you can't do anything about it anyway, he, he, the angels, angel desire to look into this, brother. This has been kept secret from the angels, from the, the old, old Testament prophets. They, they didn't know what they were writing about, you know. They didn't understand everything. Uh, but God uh, uh, has revealed it to his, his saints some 2,000, some odd years ago, brother and sister, has revealed this wonderful mystery. This is a mystery, brother and sister. It's a mystery. Kept hid for ages, brothers and sisters, and revealed to his saints some 2,000 some odd years ago. Brother, you're in a blessed age <laughs> You can where you can find out about this on some little channels on the Internet. You're not going to find out about it on, uh, on a regular antenna TV, but thank God for this uh, uh, uh this uh, YouTube, God is, they're censoring it now, but I hope they don't censor this one, but that, uh, but you can find some truth on the, on the uh, social media still, even with all the censoring going on right now, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I got to get in there and get with some coffee. That's all I wanted to bring right now was this, uh, this can of worms that I opened up at that prayer group. All I did was ask a question. Please expound on that because he was explaining it away. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the Greek <laughs> means this, or he really didn't mean what he was saying. No, brothers and sisters, God is sovereign. He's a good God. And uh, if you're listening to this little video, that's an evidence that you are a child of grace and that you have a home in heaven. <laughs> when uh you, when you leave this body peace and love brothers and sisters from this from this old boy down here in alabama going to get me some coffee